Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, this person is really going through it, okay? They're really scared that you're going to reject them. Um, they want to talk to they want to talk to you so bad. They want to tell you how they feel about you. They're they're feeling the pain like heavy pain. It hurts so much collective. Um, but yeah, they're feeling like an absolute fool for how they treated you in the past. Okay. Anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, and thank you everyone for all of your support, man. Thank you so much. All of the likes, the subscribes, the love, everybody new here. Hi, I'm Mammy Becca. Welcome right? Welcome to the family. <laughs> All right. So anyway, you could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aries here. Um, yeah, see with the moon card, they don't know what you're going to do. They don't know. Uh, they just don't know what to do. They don't know what to do and they don't know how you're going to react, right? Um, I, they're feeling very intimidated, scared, maybe scared of you because, see, I feel like right now you hold all the power in this, okay? Um, and even though it's not about who's got the power, blah, 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 right? Um, they feel very powerless. They know that they don't have a good defense for how they treated you, okay? Um, they don't really have a good explanation either. You're this person's wish, and this is why they're hurting. They know they want it. They know they need to talk to you. They're tapping on this blade, wondering what they should say. They're they're remembering how they betrayed you, possibly put you in a third party, broke your heart, shattered you. But if you reject this person, if they come and talk to you and you reject them, these three swords come down on them, and they get three swords to the heart, okay? Um, I'm telling you, I feel like they know that there's a good chance that you could hurt them just as much as they hurt you. And the way that they treated you in the past, it, it's making it so difficult for this person to come in, um, face their fear, and whether you reject them or not, it's like they need to take that chance. They need to take that risk, but how? Um, boy, I, I'm just getting the sense that they're in a lot of regret. Look at this emotional turmoil here from this King of Cups. Um, feeling it in their bones, this pain. Um, but n holding back, right? Holding back how they feel. Um, not telling you anything yet. But you're definitely this person's wish fulfillment. And they treated you like you were nothing. You know, five of pentacles energy. I, I feel like um, maybe you were in a time of struggle when you met this person, okay? Maybe you were broke. You know, um, some of you could have even been destitute, you know. I, I've been there myself a couple of times. I'm not going to lie. You'll get no judgment from me here. Um, but, yeah, this, uh, this is how they treated you, though. They treated you. They put you out in the cold. You know, they didn't think that you had enough to offer. They, they kind of made you possibly even feel like, you know, I don't know, like you, like you were worthless or something, okay? And you ended up being a star out here. You could have your own platform. You could be in the public eye, attracting a lot of attention to you. You're absolutely stunningly beautiful. And, and your energy um, is, everybody wants to be around you. You're, like, you're the kind of person that people want to hear speak. Or they want to be around you a lot because you're very soothing. Um, you're an empath, a healer. You know, uh, I feel like you're out here raising people's vibrations too. But yeah, you're there. You're definitely their wish. Okay. And this person, it's like they want to tell you how they feel. They are in love with you here with the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Virgo, Aries. But look at them. They don't, like, man, it's like they're so scared to talk to you. They've done a lot, though, to you, okay? They know what they've done. And they, they, they need to stand up and confront this, okay? This is a wounded warrior here. I'm telling you, they are hurt. They're hurting, collective. They're hurting. Um, yeah, they want to talk to you. They may be trying to make some kind of plan because um, they could have kept their back turned towards you for up to maybe three years. Needing to make some kind of decision, just ignoring the situation, maybe trying to avoid it. I feel like the pain keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah, time's not healing anything. Baby, this pain is worse than it ever was, right? That's from, um, oh, what song is it? Oh, darn it. Ah, uh, Come Wake Me Up by Rascal Flats. okay? I can usually drink you right off of my mind, but I miss you tonight, right? Yeah, they're seeing you as the one for them. Yeah, look at them watching you, collective. Um, they're watching you. Anything that you may post online. Um, I always see this as like somebody with a, a laptop or a computer, okay, looking you up on the computer. And here you are possibly out here on the Internet in the public eye um, looking all kinds of gorgeous Okay, um, you're, you're, you're very peaceful, you're very calm, you're very calming, okay? Yeah, the song that I keep getting for this reading is that song by Rascal Flatts, Come Wake Me Up. So you guys, you may want to listen to the song. It's probably, honestly, I would say it's the most passionate song um, I remember saying that when I first heard it, I'm like, wow, that guy sings with such passion. This is how they feel about you, okay? So, yeah, you may want to check that out. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Maybe an Aquarius or a Leo. You were there. You were there. Blah, blah. You were this person's happiness, okay, with the sun card. They know they could be they could have ultimate happiness with you, right? Um, this person may even be kind of dreaming about you, sharing a life with you, sharing a home with you. You know, if you were married to this person before, they're realizing just how happy you made their life. If you weren't married to this person before, they want to be. They want to be married to you now. Either way, you're there. You are their happiness. Okay? And they can barely take it anymore. This person this is being very emotional, but keeping it all inside. Okay? Because they haven't spoken to you yet. They're too scared. Cuz they know if you reject them, you've got you've got every right to and if you reject them they're gonna feel that pain man like oh you would not believe yeah the pain is worse than it ever was that's what he says in the song yeah here's the thing i've got seven swords here from what this person did to you in the past, they took advantage of you, okay? They had in and out energy. They took what they wanted from you, whether it was passion, money, your time, your patience, your love, okay? And then they left. Pew! They just kind of ghosted you, and they knew they weren't going to talk to you again, okay? They knew they were, they were just coming in to use you for something, take you for granted and then they weren't going to speak they weren't going to talk about it again 
I feel like they already knew that they were doing this to you. But with the Ace of Swords coming out, that's eight swords here that I have in my hand. And that's telling me that this person is so stuck in their head over you and what they did to you, they can barely take it. Okay? They cannot stop thinking about how they treated you in the past. And I just feel like they're in a lot of regret. They're on this one knee here. Like, okay, God, please just give me another opportunity with the collective, right? Please have them forgive me for what I've done, you know? Yeah, and this is why they're afraid to come back in, though. This is why this person is afraid to talk to you. It's because they know they screwed you over in the past. They know they screwed you over in the past. I feel like that was their plan right from the get-go. You know, high priestess energy, you picked up on it intuitively and you stopped talking to this person. I feel like that's what you did. Or maybe this is them keeping secrets from you, okay? The secret was is that they planned on hurting you. Now this person can't stop watching you. They see how you've healed. They see how you handled the situation with nothing but integrity, right? Nothing but strength. You held your head up high and you just kept it pushing, collective. That's what you did. You know, I feel like you didn't let them see you hurt, but I feel like they really did hurt you. They had you crying yourself to sleep at night. Boy, are they regretting all of this. They missed out on, a, on um, a blessing in love here. They missed out on their happiness. They missed out on their wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups. And they may not be able to get you back. You know? What action? Ooh. Yeah, look. <laughs> look. They missed out. On a, you were the blessing here. You're the earth angel. So I feel like you. Um, this person realizes here that you're a divine being. And they're never going to find another you. You're a rarity. Okay? You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got heavy Leo out here. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Heavy Cancer and Heavy Leo energy, okay? Yeah. I feel like this person, they do want to make this right, but... Or they may be finding out that you could be talking to someone new. You know, um... This star card, this is a lot of, like, being on the internet. You could be, like, online dating right now. They may be hearing about it. They could be very, because I'm feeling, like, this jealousy, right? Something about not being able to put out the flame. Is that from the song, or is that a different song? Um, yeah, I just feel like um, they can't. They can't get over you, and they certainly don't want you out here single meeting somebody new. Okay, they're very jealous, very worried about that. Okay, they just don't know what to do. This person's completely off balance in their life. Um, jealous, envious. It, man, if they find out you're talking to somebody else, they're going to flip out. You could be a Gemini. You're not speaking to them for sure. You may have this person blocked off of social media, off your phone. I feel like they know that you, you're you about to meet somebody new. Um, you could, this that's what this Ace of Cups could be. You're manifesting somebody new here with these two cups in your hand. Wanting something new. And here, all of a sudden, this, uh, this offer comes in. This is a new friend or somebody that you're just meeting. If they find out about this, when they find out about it, 
they are going to be lit up. I'm telling you. They're not, they're not, and that's not in a good way. They're going to be very jealous, very upset. Um, yeah, I feel like you're about to meet somebody new. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio on the bottom of the deck. So they're kind of afraid of everything right now. They're afraid to talk. Yeah, look, I feel they know they need to come in and apologize. If if they find out, yeah, but look, if they find out that you're you're meeting someone new, they're going to be freaked out, okay? They're going to be freaked out and they're going to come running in to apologize to you, but they know if you reject them, the pain is going to be worse than anything that they've experienced before, okay? I feel like they gave you ten swords to the back, and they know that you could hurt them just, this, just as much as they hurt you with one little word, no. And that's why this person hasn't come towards you yet. Um, let's see what they want to say, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini, um, a Pisces, a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out here, Virgo, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, what does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? I cannot be vulnerable with you. I'd rather hide in the darkness before I let you see inside me. Yeah, see, they're scared. They'd rather run and hide than to take the risk in feeling any more pain than what they already feel from losing you, okay? They're afraid to be vulnerable. I feel empty and hollow inside. I can't open up right now. Completely different deck. Okay, and it says the same thing. I can't open up right now. I can't express myself. I'm scared of rejection. I can't be vulnerable with you. You know, I tried to run from this connection, but my soul craves you. I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions. I won't admit it. They're scared. They're so scared to come towards you. I am afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual. Yeah, see, they know that there's a good chance you're going to turn them down. You, you may not feel the same way about this person as you did before because of everything that they put you through, you know? I'm seeing someone, but I'm not but I'm not ready for you to know about them yet. So this person could be seeing someone on the side. Um, they may have tried to forget you um, by dating other people, but there's no replacing you. You're the star, you're the earth angel, and they know that. Yeah, they're keeping it a secret. I'm keeping secrets from you. And I hope you don't find out. Yeah, they don't want you to know that they've tried to replace you with someone else. They're not even thinking about anybody else, though. I can see that in your reading. They're only thinking about you. I'm embarrassed by my actions, and I feel disgusted with myself. Yeah. Yeah. They can't replace you. They can't get over you. They don't know how to talk to you. And they're terrified that you're going to say no. Okay? And after everything that they've done to you, they're disgusted with themselves right now. They know also that they're being a coward about this. They need to come in and apologize and do the right thing. And, um, and they're scared. And in pain. 